Hey there, folks. So it's been over a week, week and a half since I streamed last time. Uh, just busy, I don't know, tired. I don't know why, but uh, I guess I needed some time off. <laughs> but I'm back, and I plan to hopefully stream three days a week going forward. And I was going to stream last night, but uh, had some technical, biological difficulties or something. that didn't, didn't make it work out, so... Even though it's late, it's Thursday night, late night stream. Gonna kick some stuff off. Um, hello, whoever's watching this. Um, I guess sometimes if I got any new uh, PC games recently or anything new rare, I actually did pick something up pretty cool, which I will uh, I'll show now while people are getting on here. Um, and again, I, I, it always happens at the beginning of the, the stream, it show, it says like a couple people are on and then it goes to zero, like as soon as I start talking. It's almost as if like they're like, who is this guy? I thought we were getting somebody else. Anyway, I got this really cool thing recently uh, off eBay. It's the Wing Commander 3 Premier Edition. Um, so this is a special edition of Wing Commander 3 that was sold um, only through direct, directly from EA apparently, according to uh, my friend Joe from the Origin Museum, who, who's a like basically the premier origin collector so there was a version of this that came in a big box a, a big box that had this film canister in it that was sold through sam's club but um this one the one that says premier edition on it and it did not come in a box well i'll tell you in a second it didn't come in a retail box this was only direct from ea and it cost apparently 100 bucks and if you open this thing up it has in here a whole bunch of paperwork and a poster that unfolds. Oops. Oops. Uh, manual, a bunch of paperwork, and then a bunch of CDs and stuff in jewel cases, including a uh, behind the scenes CD and a soundtrack CD and a whole bunch of stuff here. It's pretty cool. Uh, but then, in addition to that, I'm going to close that up. In addition to that, it also came with other stuff here. It came with uh, this VHS tape. The Making of Wing Commander 3. Came with a Wing Commander book. Came with a Wing Commander calendar. There's like a, here's the, the centerfold of the calendar. Where you can see, uh, I don't know what year this is, but 1995. And then it came with a t-shirt also. Which I don't think this has been worn. It looks, looks unused. A size XL. So, uh, a lot of cool stuff, and apparently, so this stuff doesn't actually fit in the film canister. Apparently, it came in an outer box, which is just an unmarked box, um, an unmarked, uh, like, pizza box type thing. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. I'm glad to have that in my collection. I had the Sam's Club one before. I did not have the, the, the actual direct from EA one. I just had to find a box to put it in now. Anyway, now that uh, got that out of the way, um, you're going to play Time Runner. So, I have here disc number three. Uh, oh, actually, I found some stuff. I'll show you guys quickly. Where is that? Uh, here, over here. I found a couple things. I I think these things came like in the in the store. Like it didn't just sell these in the newsstand like this. They came in the newsstand like in a package. Oh, you have the pizza box. Oh, really cool. Awesome. Hey, Matt, how's it going? So I think these came like in a package with a disc and with some other paperwork and then like with a, you know, a plastic seal around it basically, not a seal, but excuse me, like, you know, uh, plastic wrapping, whatever. So it came bundled with some other stuff here. I only have one of these things and I have like tons of discs. I think the person that, that had this like threw it out or whatever. So here's some instructions of how to install it in Italian. Here's like a, re a registration card in Italian. And here's uh, like a sort of a fold-out poster with, on the back they have, in Italian again, a list of all the episodes. This is 30 of them. Um, I don't really understand Italian, but I listed like 30 Fantastic Adventures Interactive, one something, one story, I don't know. And here it says, from the fourth dimension came the, the perfidious skunks. I don't really look like that. And then you unfold this, and it says Time Runners in more Italian. And then you unfold it even further, and it has uh, the 
characters. So I can back up a little bit. It's a big poster. Uh, the characters and more ads and so I, I think this came with with these discs and yeah I, I, and Matt I got them from somewhere in Europe I th I think I just don't remember anymore where um, and I think all these discs came from the same guy if I remember correctly I don't know if it was I don't think it was one big auction I think it was like uh, a bunch of small auctions but he didn't have all of them so like disc I have disc one disc two I don't have I have three. So this is the we're gonna play now. It's called the Big Run. I also have four here, which the label's a little bit ripped. The Castle of Fear. So yeah, I mean, well, they had thirty. They they released all thirty discs. I mean, so they they succeeded, I guess, in putting them out. Um, but it's obviously pretty obscure, you know, outside of Italy. And anyway, let's 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 play without further ado. Uh, if I can find the oh, here we go. Okay. So let's play the game. How's the audio, by the way, Matt? How's the audio for me? And do you hear the audio for the game? That wonderful audio. <laughs> do do do. It's really like bad audio, but audio okay. The fan on this computer. I'm using a different computer than I usually do. All right, good. I, the fan of this computer is so loud that I had to turn down the mic a little bit, otherwise it would have picked up the fan the whole time. Here we go. When we last left our heroes... Francesco Carla... Francesco Carla presents... The Big Run, as we said. At least they're consistent. He has the he has the runs. It's the big runs, a fab fab debris production. All right now you see like from the last time also, uh, it's not <laughs> it's gonna come really fast. Fantastic story, new faces. I threw myself in the time by screw rescue that girlfriend Jessica. Jessica looks like she's smiling now. I don't think she was smiling in the other the other episodes. And that guy again, he had the huge he had that huge afro. He still has afro, but now it's like not uh, curly anymore. That's his, his friend who made the time machine. Okay, you can let me skip it. All right, because the skunks kidnapped her. Once in prehistory, I hid my scooter in a cave and then walked into this forest leaving the skunk's base where Jessica was held. I got there, I realized she would transfer a different time. So that was episode one, basically. Kind of funny that Tal's trying to tie runners. <laughs> tie runners the big run. <laughs> it's true. At that point... Uh, why is it not letting me skip it? There we go. Gully skill the space stone. Stolen my scooter, which needs to be filled up. And so on to the next time stop. Unfortunately, something went wrong. After I stole the space stone, I was surrounded by skunks, and that's in episode two, he stole the stone. So I guess we're caught up to now. We left Max in Blue Rex 1109 base, surrounded by a threatening squad of blue skunks. I hope you're not serious, you see, I mean. He not look blue in that picture. He looks like red and gray. Give back the space stone, I promise you a painless death. Sounds like a good deal. Hey guys, don't your tubes get overheated. It must be a mistake. I am BB King 05, living target for the red skunks. What? BB King 05, living target? Of course, don't tell me you haven't been informed. This is not Red Rex 1100 base. No, this is Blue Rex 1109, a Blue Skunks operating base. Thousands of galaxies, spelled wrong. I must have set the timer wrongly. I'm supposed to have teletransported myself to Red Rex 1100 simulated the stealing of the Space Stone. If they believe that, they're really dumb. We living targets report a simulated attack operation. The Red Skunks neutralized the attack and completed the training. Bring us up to the date. It's in the last page of the Skunks Manual. How to live 2,000 light years away from home without troubles. Why don't we have living targets then? Oh, this guy's really dumb. Don't make me laugh, guys. <laughs> Every core you've ever known, you blue skunks, not worth a chip. We're gonna insult them, too. What? We blue skunks are the best! You really insist I'll test you. Let's see. The survival value page 3202. Come on, this is ridiculous. The human pyramid? At least not the human centipede. He gives my form a circle, climb to the shoulders to make a pyramid. The red skunks do their own. Why do they call it the human period? It should be called the skunkian period. Py pyramid, I mean. Stage is released 13 minutes and 46 seconds. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. 
These must be the stupidest, like, villains, like, of all time. Oh my gosh! It just started right away! Hey, hey! Oh, at least it didn't attack me. Why can't I control it? The shift is not working. Wait a second. Oh, there we go. Alright. It's nice of them not to attack me. Sheesh. Wow, they don't give you a lot of time to, to like... Almost they just put you in the middle of things. Alright, from, from, from the first episode we learned... You just save like every second. Because this game is really cheap. Alright, how do we run again? Alright, let's... I haven't done this in a while here. Uh, how did I run? It wasn't that. Oh, great. Uh, I thought it was control. But it doesn't let you run everywhere. So maybe I can't run in this spot. Double, yeah, it's not double tap. I just tried that. Oh, I remember now. It was down and the direction. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a great uh, interface. I guess I can't go in here, I'm assuming, right? Would I even know if I could? I looked, I, oh, you can go in there. All right, so like I thought that was like the room that I came out of, but apparently it isn't. Because it let me go in there. What the hell? This game is like so, so weird. Like you just materialize in a corridor and there's, oh, I had to go that way anyway because there's no other way to go. But like, where did I come from? It doesn't make any sense at all. Alright, whatever. Okay, let's see if I can run a jump. There we go. It's up into the, in the direction. And we've determined that if you... Those things usually don't kill you, but occasionally they do. So I'm just gonna jump over it. Can I look out the window here? No. Going here. It's still close to outside, right? I can't go in there though. Why is it not letting me go in there? Hello. I can't go in there? That's really weird. What if I'm doing something wrong? Come here. I bet he's not gonna walk on that thing. Oh he does. I got him from really far away. And notice how he doesn't like fall over too, like, what's wrong with that? Uh, okay, I can go in there. Pfft. I have really good range with that fist, it's like, I don't have to be anywhere near him to hit him, apparently. Ooh. Right, I'm gonna save the game. I don't want to like allow like some stupid minor thing to kill me and do that shit again. But I'm, I'm much better at this game than I was when we first started this. Like, I had no clue how to fight these guys. I had no clue how to run. The manuals. I, I never checked if they fixed the manual. Here's the map. How did we get the manual screen before? It was it Q or something or E? I'm pressing all the buttons here. Oh, you... This U, originally it said that there there was... you. In the first game, it said there's a button U that will show you the exits and stuff. And stuff you can interact with. And it didn't do anything. Now it looks like it actually works. Here's the inventory. Oh, I have this, the stone or whatever. The space stone. Find the scooter, fill it up. Is there a gas here to fill it up with? Uh... P, oh, P is pause, okay. Oh, here's this thing. It still has this weird thing with fire, no, fi deflect shot, yes, like, what's deflect shot? Fire, I don't need the fire. You have to hold down this button to show this thing, by the way. So you actually does something now to show all the exits and actions in a room. But it still doesn't have, like, run or anything like that you'd expect it to have. So, it's crap, basically. Can I go here? Sure hope so. <laughs> Come on. Damn it. <sighs> uh, 
I'm not gonna I'm not gonna restore from that. I don't know why I didn't hit him. I got too close. You gotta like be prepared that every time you walk into a room, essentially, you're gonna get killed. There's nothing in this thing to interact with except for that thing I came out of, if that's to be believed. I can't go that way. Can I? No. Nothing in the screen to interact with according to that thing. Looks like there's eggs up there, but apparently you can't interact with them. I don't know. I don't know. Stop walking. I keep doing this U thing and nothing's happening. This looks like I'm going to die here. I don't think I can make it across that gap. Let me save the game. I'll keep on playing until I figure out what I'm supposed to do here. Yeah, I don't think that would work. Maybe I can't get across there? I thought I could land on that thing in the middle, but it doesn't appear that I can. Is this where I need to do a run and jump thing? Yeah, super jump. Oh, come on. <laughs> this guy's so pathetic. I'll try the super jump thing, but I, I didn't. It doesn't. It seems like it's too big to get across that whole gap. Like, I can't run. It, I never did a super jump where you jump twice. I should remember how to do it too. See, that didn't help. It's possible I just can't get past here too. But there was nowhere else to go, really, was there? <laughs> like, according to this map, there's nowhere else to go. I, I've been everywhere. Could, I could, you think I could do it how? <laughs> he stops running. When I get to that point, I stop running. Like, I have to jump then, or that's what I did before, and I, and I died. Unless there's a way to do a, a double super jump, but I don't think... I jump from it with a super jump or a regular jump? Oh, I tried that before. I tried to do that at least. It didn't play out the way I intended. Let's see? Let me try it again. This game is very unforgiving with the jumping. See, look, I'm, right now I'm here, like, but I can't, if I jump, you see, like, when I, even when I turn, it moves me. That's part of the problem. It doesn't always, ugh, come on, I, it doesn't always do that, but, see, I tried jumping from here, and that was too far. You see that? This is too far. This is not good. It has. To, I have to. Would have to be like, right up. I'd have to be like right on the edge somehow. Reload to try to super jump. I'd have to reload to try to super jump. I can super jump from. From here, but it's not. It's not going to get me across the thing. Uh, 
The problem is the super jump stops. He, he, he starts the super jump where he stops running. The only way I can get the super jump is if I would run from here. Yeah, super jump from the middle, like you're saying, but it's, it's not possible. He doesn't have enough momentum. He doesn't have any momentum. Look at this. Like, I, I can't even turn to the left without... Without it, it turning me around. Well, that's interesting. I guess I can because when I just when I just when I just did just now to do that. I wonder if, if I if I turn left, I bet you I fall in the hole. Oh, I didn't. Interesting. See that time it moved me. When I tried to jump to the right from this position, it just turned me around, which is interesting. So there's some control here. But if I jump from here, I, I fall in. I tried that before. If I jump from here, I fall in too. See? I bet you this is impossible, and I have to go... To super jump from the middle? But I can't even run. That's the thing. I can't even run. Look, look, there's no, there's no clearance. I, I can't run even a step like this. I can't, I can't take one running step. No, it's not possible to super jump from there. It's not possible. I, I, you know what I think? I think I have to leave, and I bet you something changed. That's the only thing I can think of because there's really nothing, no way to go. And it says there's nothing. I don't believe it, by the way. But it says nothing to interact with. I think it's it's. What is that thing? That's that's the mouse. What was it like stuck over there? It's falling out one of those trap doors. That's an interesting idea. I mean, I can't hurt. To, to try, I'll probably die, but not that one. <laughs> you want to try to fall down there? It like froze up when I, when I stepped over it. It was like doing the falling animation or something. If all else fails, I'll go fall down there, but I'm, I, I doubt you're supposed to do that. I tried that one for you. Is that okay? Run, genius. This one doesn't fall down. You know, the guy's head's on it. See, this, this door... It does not show his interaction point, but it, it makes no sense that I can't go through this door. Like, why not? This door looks exactly the same as the other door. And this is literally where I started, so there's, there's no way to go. I can fall out of that first trap door, but it's, it was completely pointless. I'll do it just for the hell of it, but I know it's the wrong thing to do. Do, 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 do. They got you with the super... <sighs> you dumb putts. Like, can't you jump over a freaking hole? Yeah, this is the one I was going to fold out on purpose. <laughs> I knew it was going to be game over. Game over, you suck. Alright, what, what are we missing here? What are we missing here?
By the way, like, I don't know if I can trust that you thing. Like, I'm using it, but it might be lying to me for all I know. Ugh. See, he doesn't. He stops running, and when he stops running, the super jump is over. See, I can't. That's the problem. I can't do it because he stops running before the end. He only takes one running step, and when he sees that hole coming, he stops running. And once he stops running, I can't jump. I can't do the super jump. I can only do the super jump from the first place he lands, and that's not obviously not far enough. Make it a better game, you'd be able to do this. You'd be able to like jump and then run and then jump and. Notice he has his curly hair afro again in this picture. A crouching mini jump. Uh, look at, let me look at the controls again that it, that it, that it lies about and says it's, pretends there's controls here that you can do something with. Where was that here? Uh. H. Why oh, H is help, I guess. Walk upstairs, walk downstairs, direct, bend, go back, deflect shot, fire, enter door, jump forward, right upwards. Spacebar to select an arm. That's what it said before, too. Enter to display the help test text for a situation. What a useful help text. What the hell select an arm? I guess at some point you get a gun, and then you can select an arm, but I don't have it now. There's literally only two places to stand here. This one does not like, get you, I don't think that's even a gap to land on, but if it was, this doesn't get me there anyway. back I don't I don't see what else to do oh, I can't expect you to find something here it looks like there could be something there but I guess not or maybe this thing over here I mean, if there was, I would call foul because this thing clearly shows only one exit in the room. And this one shows nothing. The map, again, shows... I have to do two super, super jumps in a row? How do I do two super... What does that mean? When do I do the second super jump? In the mid mid air? As soon as I come on the screen, do a super jump. Jeez. But the first super jump doesn't land me in the middle. <laughs> That's the problem. Then I super jump from like this screen here. I'm trying. <laughs> Did you see that? I <laughs> dumb fuck, stupid bastard. K. 
kidding me? Like, look, I have to hold the freaking button down because he starts running. No! Come on! The thing is, I have to get him to the jump as soon as he, like, exits the screen. No! 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 Oh, man! <laughs> this is impossible! Wow, bad game design is not even like a... Not a joke. And I'm trying a few more times here, but... Like, in your... In your uh, video that you looked up, where does he do the first jump from? Is he in this screen when he does the first jump? I mean, like, what I want to do right now is, like, basically start... I, I wish. I honestly, I wish. I still have three lives left, I believe. And this, I, I wish, though, that I didn't have a job. Like, I mean, I don't, I don't wish I didn't have a job. I wish right, for, like, five seconds I didn't have a job. Or maybe for 30 seconds. And I don't have a family that might watch this later. Because what I want to do right now is, like, start cursing at the top of my lungs and I want to reach into the screen and I want to choke this guy to death I want to freaking kill him this little stupid bastard jackass mother ah I'm sorry like okay calm it down it's like god damn it that was ridiculous. No, no, don't run. Oh, God. Now another screen with nothing in it. <laughs> and of course, walk right to a caveman. Now look at that, there was, this, there was like nothing there. A big hole in the floor. Oh, there's a tree I can walk into, I guess. <laughs> that guy doesn't even bother to try to attack you. Alright, it's something right. Max found a quiet place in the forest and decided to rest for a while. However, behind his back was a bunch of guys about to kick his butt. Oh, God. Max attacked by a Tyrannosaurus and runs away. Nice. Oh, whoops. Whoa! What is this, like an, an arcade sequence now? Oh no, I just ran away. Okay. Now where am I? Like a different part of the map? Oh, can I get back there? <laughs> that was unexpected. Look, another one of these stupid jumps, although I think this is this one like is a regular jump. I don't know how to I don't think there's any way to get back the way I just came. Better save the game again. Friendly T Rex. That's okay, remember the first game I got lifted up by a the second game I got lifted up by a pterodactyl and carried over here, so I guess I need to uh you know, take a T-Rex. Oh, this looks familiar. Oh, it's, 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 it's good I have this U thing, because it shows me there's actually a passage over here, too. Yeah, I'll take that one first. Pff, come on. I'm gonna, re I'm gonna reload, because that was crap. I lost too much life for that for nothing. <sighs> you suck. 
suck, Max. There you go. <laughs> he can't hit him when the guy's like staring right at him, but if he looks the other way, then he can hit him. We're fighting. What does the map say? Okay, you can only go to the right. That's what I figured, but I wasn't sure. I think it was in the way. Alright, so I, I think that's the only way I can go probably here. Yeah, you can't go to the right. There's a hole there. Stupid mouse. Stop getting in front of the screen. Look at those footsteps. It's like all over the place. T-Rex footsteps. You can't go to the right? Apparently. <laughs> you, you can't climb up there to the right, even though it looks like you easily could, could do it. I have a feeling this is the wrong way, because I'm going to walk right into this T-Rex. But I'll do it anyway. I Maybe mean, I can punch the T-Rex in the face. <laughs> Slowly Max was the threatening Triceratops. I have to click. Whoa. It looks like a bull. I think it was missing a horror in the middle of its head. It's very dark, too. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Can I go back that way? Uh, apparently not. You know what, I, I think I better go restore the save game because uh, I probably missed something I need. <laughs> that was kind of awesome. It was okay. I mean, it, I don't understand why you the T-Rex let you run right past them. But whatever, I guess he had better things to do. He had bigger fish to fry, whatever you want to say. Okay, come on. You could do it. You could do it. You could do it. I froze the whole game for a second there. Oh. Is it an I feel like that guy kills you. I mean, I'll take the I'll take the money, but that seems like the same guy that killed me last time. When I went to him, like I started losing health. Yep, <laughs> basically the same thing. So it just sits there and just like eats people that show up, I guess. Take the, so there's no reason to go here except to get the money. I'll take the money, why not? And I'm gonna go back to fight the T Rex fighting the Triceratops. Come on, you can do it. After losing a small amount of health, <laughs> he loses his hair pretty quickly. <laughs> Look, where's the horn missing from the middle of his head? You notice that? The, the close-up picture? I believe these people knew that tri means three, and that's why it's called Triceratops, because there's three horns. Alright. Let me save the game. Save game. That's fair. I'll just overwrite the other one. Get out of the way. What's the point of that little hump there? Yeah, but there was the. the oh, jeez. Wait, I think I think I could do this. Save again just to make sure. There we go. 
wasn't so bad. Do, 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 do. He didn't have a third horror, that guy. Yeah. I guess I can go up that way. Or I can go to the left. I might as well go up first. Twenty guys fighting me when I get there. Yeah, I do it. it takes you time to turn around, and you're like vulnerable while you're turning around. Cause the guy's such a spaz. All right, can I go to the left? I assume not. It's a dead end, right? Yep, it's a dead end. go in there so I will go in there Ooh, what's this huh apparently you can go to the right from here oh there's a there's a big hole but it's like uh, the right side of it looks like there's nothing there because when the graphics redrew there was uh, you can get over it it looked like I think you need a super jump here. Huh. There's more caves here. Is this a freaking maze? Oh no. I feel like I should have gone back into that other thing first. Let me do that because this, there's like a hundred passages here. Wait, I, wait a second. You can't go to the right here? <laughs> you can't go to the right here, even there's no barrier or anything like that. That's also stupid. Better be good. At least I figured out how to do that finally, for the most part. What the hell? Is the triceratops like little baby triceratopses? Maybe so you could jump on his head and climb over his body or something. Ah, uh, oh, nope, apparently not. <laughs> God damn it. How are those little guys going to hurt you so badly? <sighs> I'll do this again after I figure out what's here. What is that? Like super jump over that hole. Back against the broken dinosaur's eggshell. All right, that was that was the point to go in there. Mad monk Max. <laughs> yeah, I saw. I know what you're talking about. Let me see if I can do that without getting injured. I don't know if it's even possible. I probably have to do a super jump over that, over those guys. Let's see if, it's, if I can do it. Yep, I can do it. Alright, so tri maybe Triceratopsies is, are deadly. I have to do their super jump here. 
keep saving. That's why. No, no, no! Ah, oh, come on. Stupid moron. He's so hard to control. <laughs> you see that? It's not. <laughs> He's really difficult to control. This is not Mario, I'll tell you that right now. This is not Mario Brothers. This is like Mario Morons. <sighs> As he stops running. Not easy to pull that off. Oh, I must jump to those guys too. Actually, I, I those I think are those guys I think are below the the line. I think I have to. There's no way to do this without walking on those guys. So. That's one way to do it. But I want to see if I actually can do it properly. He seemed like he was right at the edge. There we go. You have to use that trick where when you turn around, it makes him not take a step forward. That's the only way to do it. Called the big run, it should be called the big freaking jump. Oh god. Will this never end this nightmare of jumping across holes? I wonder what these think when they really designed this game is like we did a great job with all these holes, didn't we? Oh, come on. Did we do a great job with all these holes? I bet the players are really going to love this game. We have more holes than any other game on the market. Huh, gosh. Alright, now I can finally go to that maze thing. Huh? What? That didn't happen before. Hey, stop walking. That's interesting. Now you can't go back that way anymore. So I was only able to go there as long as I didn't have that object I needed. Now that I have it, I can't go back. That's actually interesting. There's some nice pictures. Friendly T-Rex. I gotta do the super jump over this hole. Somehow I made it even look like I fell in the hole. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> but I'll take it. Or jumping. Matt, you still still awake? <laughs> I think that was a hole. Oh, you did? Okay. I thought it was a hole. You would see that these things. That's a rock that I can't that I have to jump over. I can't step over it. That's really stupid. I feel like I'm going the right way and I gotta go back, but this only goes to the left, okay.
supposed to be this episode must be almost over close to over but so far there's not been a single adventure game puzzle well that's another, I thought it was oh I thought that was a hole but it's not it's another one of those it's a stump oh I see I thought it was a hole What's this? It says I can go in there? Oh, must be an adventure game room because there's no map thing there. Uh huh, it is an adventure game room. Can I do something here? What's this? It looks like oil. Oh, you're a real genius there. I guess I can fill the dinosaur shell with oil or something? He needs oil for his bike, is that what it is? Mask gets some oil using the dinosaur's eggshell. Alright, that's probably all that I need from this room, I'm assuming. I take the oil with my bare hands. I could dive into it, but I'm not sure it's worthwhile. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, I'm assuming just regular oil poured into a scooter. Would that actually work in real life if you poured, like, oil into a gas tank of a car? I have a feeling it wouldn't. I'm assuming that's all you gotta do there. I hope that's correct assumption. Stu got oil. If you're fine at using a fire, uh, that's an interesting idea. That is actually nice that there's a feature that shows you the hot spots because they're hot. it's so freaking dark. I don't think I'd be able to see it otherwise. Let's so go back that way. And then through that hot spot. So there's nothing to do here, right? Yeah. Alright, now I have two ways to go. That way and to the right. I guess I'll go up first. This is just... This is just money. Money, 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 money! Money! Sure, why not? I'll take your money. I will take the money. Show me the money. Okay. Alright, next screen. We've not been here yet. That's not a hole, is it? Is it running out of, out of screen real estate for this game, so... Must be almost done. Oh, that is a hole. <laughs> Silly me! I thought maybe there was no jumping in the screen, but apparently that is a hole. I guess I need to do a super jump. Let's see if I can pull it off. Alright. I'm pretty proud of myself actually now. When you actually pull those things off, it does feel pretty good because the controls are so weak. So it's like, I am a god of video games. I was actually able to do something. What the hell is this? There's like a fall down and then, uh... Okay, I guess I can only go down through the, through the window right now. I knew there'd be some guy somewhere coming here. Yeah, sucka. You is dead, buddy. I guess he can't come down the thing. He can't swing from there. Oh, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that was awesome! <laughs> you see that glitch? That was really cool. <laughs> I'm sure that was not intentional. But that guy freaking died. He's not just like, 
Said the four bastards straight to hell. Yeah, exactly. Two ways to go here. Let's go here first. Let me save the game, actually. I know I just did that, but I get very paranoid in this game. It's a good reason, I think. Alright, so this is the screen I couldn't get to before, I believe. I can't even go up there. Well, that, that might be the room with my bike. I bet you it is. Even though it looks nothing like the place it used to look like when I was here before. I would not be surprised at all if that's where my bike is. Oh, what a weird uh, thing here. Okay, let's go in here. Yep, it is my bike. Even though it didn't look anything like this, this, this place. So can I fill up the bike? Or... I missed the screen, but who cares? I lift the seat. I don't see why I should break my scooter's tank. Oh, that's punching? Is that what that is? I fill up the scooter. Okay, can I drive the scooter now? Now what? <sighs> you guys are so dumb, man. Max cannot leave. You didn't install the space stone on the scooter. Where am I supposed to install it? starter what else can I look at here the wheel the side flap okay max installs a space stone I don't know how that's gonna help just sticking a rock into like a, a space on your scooter that wasn't designed for that rock Actually, we were just in time. Just in time for what? <laughs> Where did that T-Rex come from? And now he's in a barn with a cow? Max was sure has a different space at a different time. Oh, it's a bull. He looks like he's stunned. Score 1500. What will happen to Max? We'll find out the next adventure if I actually play the next adventure. All right, I have episode four installed, so I think I could theoretically play it now, but I think I'm not going to. There's only a couple people watching. It's been an hour. It's a little bit. It's late already. I started late today. I think it's enough for now. <laughs> I, I, Matt says, "Admit it, you're hooked." I need to think about it. I mean, if you think about this, I only played ten percent of the way through the game at this point. There's still 90%. There's 27 episodes left to go. So while I do want to play through them at some point, I'm not really sure that I want to play through them, like, anytime soon. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like, I, if you're watching this, p please leave a comment, please. If you like this, if this is interesting or super boring... I think it's super boring, probably, because it's so much where you just, like, for, I'm just saving the game. I feel like half the time is saving the game, to be honest, and then the other, let's say, 45% of the time is jumping, and maybe 5% is punching some people, then every once in a while there's some kind of adventure thing, which is super easy. So, I just don't know, like, if it's worth continuing now, or if I should do something else. But again, if you... If, I'm open to suggestion. Whoever's watching this, leave a comment, let me know. And, uh, yeah, I hope you liked this video. Thanks, Matt, for joining and uh, participating in the comments. 
And I think that's it for tonight. And we'll figure out what to do. I, hopefully I'll stream again on Saturday. Saturday night at some point. Probably an adventure game. Matt says I shouldn't binge it, but it's worth revisiting every now and again. Yeah, I think that's a good way to think of it. I think I want to play something else. So next time's going to be an adventure game, for sure. And then I think the, after that adventure game, I think I'm going to play another physical game for my collection that's not this, something else. Maybe we'll come back to this at some point in the future. But, uh, yeah, I want to, want to play everything at some point, so we've got a lot of time left, hopefully. Thanks for, for joining, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great night, and thanks again, Matt. Bye, everybody.